In this video, we will calculate the distance between the lighting and us by knowing the interval time between the lightning flash and the thunder sound. But first, let's do some definition. What is a distance? A distance means a space between the lightning and you. And later on, we will denote it as capital D. And what is interval time? It's like when you have a stopwatch, you stop exactly when the flash hit, and you stop precisely as a sound That interval value will later on denote it as delta T. Here we are already with some lines. This represents us, and this represents the lighting. The space between the two are represented here, and will be denoted as capital D. And this line represents the light movement. This line represents the soft movement. Important to note here is when the light are received by us after using T value of time. The same value of T are also used by the sound to move with the shorter length, let's say, until this set point. And what interval time I represent here? The value that I already mentioned before is that after the light are moving here and received by us, the sound are moving from set point and received by us until certain value of time. That value of time is what we detect and will be denoted as delta T. Then let us name this as D1 and this distance as D2. What is the basic formula here? Of course, it will be distance equal to time multiplied by velocity. We have two different velocity here. Let us denote this light velocity as V1 and V2 as sound velocity. V2 here also the same velocity along the same line. Completing this, now let us name this section as A section and this as B section and this as C section. Being more specific about the formula, in this A section, it will be dt and v1, so this will be v1. In this B section, it will be d1 equal to t multiplied by v2. In this C section, it will be d2 equal to delta t multiplied by v2. Now let's do all possible variant here. It will be V1 equal to D divided by T and T equal to D divided by V1. Another to be mentioned here is V1 denotes the light velocity and V2 denotes the sound velocity and T are our future dependent variable and delta T are our future independent variable. It seems that we have completed the data we need. Now, let us calculate. What is the basic fact here? Of course, it will be D equal to D1 plus D2. Graphically, it will be D equal to D1 plus D2. In this equation, we already have a future dependent variable and two variables I don't think we need. So, let us change this D1 by this equation and let us change this D2 by this equation. And so it will be D equal to T multiplied by V2 plus delta T multiplied by V2. Automatically we just put our future independent variable inside the equation and I don't think we need this T anymore. So let us change this to something else. As we can see there are two T consisting equation here but this one contains D1 inside it. That will bring our D1 back to the equation. So let us not use this source. Using this source, now let's write down D equal to D divided by V1 multiplied by V2 plus delta T multiplied by V2. Now we can move this to the other side. It will be D minus D divided by V1 multiplied by V2 equal to delta T multiplied by V2. And we can write this D minus D divided by V1 multiplied by V2 equal to delta T as long as we put this V2 as denominator for all. And we can cancel this. It will be D divided by V2 minus D divided by V1 equal to delta T. We have different denominator, so let us do this. D divided by V2 multiplied by 1 minus D 
divided by V1 multiplied by 1 equal to delta T. We get common denominator. Now let us process this. It will be D multiplied by V1 minus V2 divided by V1 multiplied by V2 equal to delta T. And we can move and flip this. It will be D equal to delta T multiplied by V1 multiplied by V2 divided by V1 minus V2. Well, I think we are enough with algebra. Now let us turn this to physics terms. Light velocity will be denoted as C and sound velocity still using our V2. So sound velocity will be 343 while 20 degrees Celsius in meter per second. And light velocity will be 300 million in meter per second. Now let's transfer this. It will be D equal to delta T multiplied by C multiplied by V2 divided by C minus V2. So let us put the value inside. It will be D equal to delta T multiplied by 343.000392163782. Well, well, this is our coefficient and this is our calculation. If measure was 10 second, then delta T will be 10 second. Looking back to the coefficient that we have produced, it will be d equal to delta t multiplied by this number. So if interval value was 10, then how far is the distance? It will be d equal to 10 multiplied by this number. So d will be equal to 3430.00392163782 meters. And what this number means, it will be 3 kilometers plus 430 meters plus this value of millimeters. What is 3 kilometers? Like crossing the bridge at San Francisco. And what is 430 meters? It's like running the whole Olympic plus emptying this 30 meter measure tip. And what is this value of millimeters? It's like when you zoom a tip of a pencil and then you print this way and put a micrometer there. So let us measure this. 0, 1 mm, 2 mm, 3 mm, 0.9, and 21.6782 micron. Well, well, this what I call precision. Okay, this is the end of the video. In the next video, we will calculate another funny things that come from our surroundings. So bye bye, and always remember to have fun.